At times you may be hired to do an application to check to see if there's any reinforcement in these cinder blocks or in these cells of these cinder blocks. Depending on your state, they have certain requirements uh, that uh, reinforcements are in these cells, every one cell, every two cell, every other cell, so on. And uh, you may be hired to check as quality assurance to make certain that there are reinforcements in these cinder blocks. Another reason you may need to uh, do this application is that they may be drilling into these cinder blocks and they don't want to hit the reinforcement. So we're going to use a structure scan mini here to check to see which cells have reinforcement, if any, and which cells are actually empty. So after turning on the structure scan mini, I make certain that I'm in 2D mode and I'm going to scan this row here. Uh, just to check to see if there's any reinforcement. So I go into the collect mode here and pressing enter to start collecting. What I normally like to do here is to mark which cinder block I'm going to start with, this border right here. So I'm just going to place a simple little mark there saying that's where I'm going to start. And what I want to do is go ahead and, and place the lasers, line up the laser with the starting point. At the bottom of the screen here, one of the options is to mark. What I like to do is press that mark button every time I pass the ends of a cinder block. That way I can look at my data and see where the ends of my cinder blocks were and where the cells are and whether those cells are empty or have reinforcement in them. So what I do here is I just simply click, click on the, the mark button here and just start scanning forward and clicking the mark button each time I pass where the cinder blocks join together. Then I can do one of two things. I can back up and look at my data here and see, by looking at this, I can see that these are, are empty cells here by the black that I see. That represents air. So these cinder blocks are empty. But as I back up, these cells are empty. Again, and this one's empty and I just keep looking. What I have here, this spot right here, this particular one, I see a hyperbola. This hyperbola re represents a rebar that's going up through this here which represents reinforcement. So I can mark here with a pen, simply saying that I do have a reinforcement in this one, and keep backing up. This one's empty, this one's empty, this one's empty, and this one also has reinforcement in there. Please refer to our mini quick start guide. In there, in the sample data section, we have many examples of our data and applications. Uh, by looking at that, you can see what data can look like depending on your applications. This is one of the applications we have and a sample data. Again, please refer to our mini quick start guide for more information. Geophysical Survey Systems, the world leader in ground penetrating radar.